off the back of the last track, we're sliding on, not into the DMs, but into the, <laughs> in the next track here, which is going to be Prove It. What are we trying to prove? It. What is it? I don't know. Check the lamb lies down on Broadway. You might find an answer, although you might, you might just find more questions. Anyways, thank you guys for joining me back on the channel. We're moving on to the next track. Uh, that was a weird intro, but that's how we're doing it here. We're, we're doing it live. Uh, let's go ahead and get into it. This is Prove It. Bye -bye. Fantastic rolls. We need to discuss television. We need to discuss this band for a moment. So, I know I asked a question kind of like what I'm going to say regarding the guitar playing, but I'm going to extend this, I think, to the whole band. Are each of the members in television noted for their technical prowess, their musical prowess, perhaps? Because I'm listening to the band, and I can't help but really keep track and, and be so interested in what everyone is doing at the same time, which makes me feel like, not that this is literally a super group, I know it's not, well, I don't know, but I don't think it's like a bunch of members from other bands coming together, but it feels like a super group, <laughs> you know, like a group of just these musicians that have such a perfect creative alignment that whatever skills they have in their own instrumentation, in their own directions, it just aligns so perfectly. The stars are coming together and they, they're creating this music, which is just, to me, mind blown with how well composed it is, how fun the instrumental is, how, how it all comes across, how it all connects. I mean, I'm listening to the, the drum from Billy and <laughs> he adds in a little break at one point that is just like, wait, where did that come out of? But then he's always adding the, in these sly little fills. He's exciting in the way that he plays in a way that could so easily just be written down on paper and you just follow the rules. You follow the chart. But he inserts what I can only imagine is so much personality into that that it becomes so apparent in the music. Then, of course, you have Verlaine and Richard Lloyd on the guitars. Once again, I don't really know who's doing what, but whoever's doing guitar, it's just so exuberant. It, it exuberates, is that even the word? It, it shows and displays this, this certain voice from who's playing it, that you can get so much of their personality in just listening to the notes that they're playing and the way that they're delivering that. The bass, Fred. Like, are you listening? <laughs> and then my favorite part is that pre-chorus when you have that, that stop starting part, right? Then you got Tom who in three different distinct parts in there, he basically delivers three different, I guess you could say, uh, uh, fat facets. Yeah. Facets of his voice. You got the first prove it. Like he just kind of yells it. Right. Then what does he say after that? Uh, after he says prove it, he says just the facts. <laughs> like he's, he's kind of holding it back a little bit. I, I love that. He kind of bites his lip when he's saying it. Then the confidential, <laughs> like that deeper, more kind of romantic, that kind of suave voice. You're getting these different faculties that of course show up throughout the album as a whole, but even within this song, like that is so wonderful. He kind of reminded me in some ways, this is, I'm taking a leap here, just bear with me. I'm taking a little bit of a leap. He kind of reminds me in some ways of It's coming. Over the hillside, hats. Oh my God. I know the band. Tinder Sticks is for some reason in my head, but that's not who I'm thinking of. Oh my God. Hats, over the hillside, the downtown lights. Oh my God, this is embarrassing. You guys know what band I'm talking about. Not in the way that they sound, but in those specific rom romanticized parts from Tom, the way he's delivering it because it has a certain voice of melancholy a certain longful wailing that the singer over in not hats the downtown lights over the hillside the blue nile oh man i can see the comments i can, i read them i see it 
how did I forget? I remember the songs, I remember the album, but here I am forgetting the name of the band, the Blue Nile. Okay, so it sounds in a similar way to the singer there, like I said, not literally in voice, not literally in what they're doing, but just in the way that they use that specific moment in their voice to display that kind of melancholy. I think that that's um, really, really well done. I, I, I love it. <laughs> what you want me to say? I love it. It says here that this song was released as the second single from the album, and uh, NME ranked it 40th on the magazine's year-end list of best singles from 1977. Number 40th out of how many is really the true question. The docks, the clock, a whisper woke him up. The smell of water would resume. I like how immediately we're getting placed into a particular setting. The docks, okay, there's your place. The clock is what woke him up, I would imagine, or the waves from the dock. And then it says the smell of water would resume because he wakes up to the smell of water being at the docks. Already you're getting this visualiza visualization. <laughs> <clears throat> the cave, the waves of light, the unreal night, the flat curving of a room get funny. So first we have the setting. Now we're kind of getting some of the visuals. You know how like when light is reflecting in a cave, for example, you have the shimmering lights kind of bouncing off of the cave walls. We're having imagery like that here. And then I love the line, get funny. Like there's something, there's something happening. Prove it, just the facts, confidential. Uh, this case, this case that I've been working on so long. First you creep, then you leap about a hundred feet. You're in so deep that you could write a book. So what is this case? Chirp, chirp, the birds, they're giving you the words. A word's just a feeling you undertook. Now the rose, how it slows you in such colorless clothes. Fantastic, you lose your sense of human. Project, protect. Oh, I like that. I almost misread that. Project, you put something out. Protect, you hold it in. It's warm and it's calm and it's perfect. It's too, too, too to put a finger on. Like it's too right. <laughs> it feels too right to be right. Then he says, the chorus repeats again and then the case is closed. I got no idea. <laughs> Not even, no, nothing. I have no idea. Uh, it says, this was a staple of television's early live shows, often as a set closer. The lyrics relate to a detective story. Well, yeah, I guess that's what the lyrics say, but can you prove it? Let me know what you guys thought of the track. You can let me know in the comments down below. You can follow me on Twitter if you so wish. You can also support the channel, support what I do over on Patreon. I appreciate you watching. Thank you so much for coming over and stopping by. We'll be finishing the last song on the album tomorrow. Otherwise, I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye, guys.